how can you tell if a redox reaction occurred? How can you tell if a given reaction is a redox reaction? If it's a redox reaction, the oxidation numbers must have changed. If the oxidation numbers didn't change, it wasn't a redox reaction. What I want to remind you of is that if an atom's oxidation number increases, it got oxidized. And if the oxidation number decreases, it got reduced. Hopefully that's intuitive. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called the oxidation number if oxidizing it didn't increase that number. Huh? So let's check it out. Assign oxidation numbers to these and uh, tell me if there's been a redox reaction. Do you remember the rules for assigning oxidation numbers? Elements are always zero. This is just metallic copper, just the element. Oxidation number zero. Same with silver, just an element, zero. Hydrogen's always plus one, but that's not an issue here. Oxygen's always minus two. Ah, oh, so this oxygen's probably minus two. And this oxygen's probably minus two. You have to assign the other oxidation numbers just so that the total charge on the molecule, in this case zero, is the sum of the oxidation numbers of all the atoms inside of it. We got a charge of minus two here, and we got two silvers that can help to counteract it. So each of those silvers needs a charge of plus one. Get it? Two plus ones. Cancel out a minus two. Yeah. Here we got one copper and one oxygen. That oxygen has a charge of minus two. This one needs a charge of plus two to counteract it. Check out what happened here. We have copper whose oxidation number went from zero to plus two. Its oxidation number increased and it was oxidized. One thing I want to point out is that for the oxidation number to rise, it has to lose electrons. Uh, yeah. Oxidation is a loss of electrons. And so as you lose negative charges, your charge increases. Anyways, silver, you'll notice, went from plus one down to zero. It decreased and so silver is the thing that was reduced. And if you went from a positive down to zero, you must have added some negatives or gained electrons. A typical question you'll see in this kind of thing is assign oxidation numbers to determine if a redox reaction has occurred. What was oxidized and what was reduced? Check out how fast this can go. That's an element, oxidation number zero. That's an element, oxidation number zero. No hydrogens, no oxygens. Assign the rest of the oxidation numbers. Iodine likes a charge of minus one and potassium likes a charge of plus one. Look it up, those are the valences. Potassium likes a charge of plus one, chlorine likes a charge of minus one. Those are also the valences. So, any oxidation numbers change here? Chlorine went from zero to minus one. So oxidation numbers did change. So there was a redox reaction. Chlorine went from zero to minus one. That's a decrease. Chlorine was reduced. What else changed? Iodine, it looks like, went from minus one to zero. That's an increase. So this must have been oxidized. Pretty easy. Let's assign oxidation numbers here. No elements, no hydrogen, no oxygen. Well, let's just see what kind of charges these atoms want. Chlorine usually wants minus one and sodium wants plus one. Fluorine wants minus one. Silver can have plus one. Fluorine usually wants minus one. Sodium usually wants plus one. Chlorine usually wants minus one. 
Silver is okay with plus one. These are all the valences of these atoms, by the way, in case you don't know where I'm getting these numbers. Did any of the oxidation numbers change? No. None of the oxidation numbers changed. No redox reaction happened here. Nothing was oxidized. Nothing was reduced. This is just a regular double displacement reaction anyways. Shouldn't be surprising. We're going to do one more. I realize I skipped C, but we're all grown-ups here. You can suck that one up. What are the oxidation numbers here? That's an element, oxidation number zero. That's an element, oxidation number zero. No hydrogens, no oxygens. Chlorine wants to charge a minus one usually. Sodium likes to charge a plus one, so that works out. Oh, sodium went from plus one to zero. That's a decrease in oxidation number, going from one down to zero. A decrease in oxidation number means the sodium was reduced. The chlorine went from minus one to zero. The chlorine's oxidation number increased. It was oxidized. There was a redox reaction. Sodium was reduced, chlorine was oxidized. Figuring out if a redox reaction occurred is a piece of cake if you can assign oxidation numbers efficiently. Best of luck.